ML Toys here with an instructional video for 18 to 20 volt lithium soft start low voltage module. It's a long name for a product because it does a lot of good things. It's this little box right here and what it's designed to do is allow you to use an 18 or 20 volt lithium power tool battery in your Power Wheels brand ride on. Now a lot of people have been doing this. You see it on YouTube. They're, they're just hooking the lithium battery directly into the vehicle and a lot of problems occur down the road after they've recorded that video and you don't see it. This, this module solves for all the problems that we've seen happening. Most common problem that happens is the power tool battery gets ruined because the vehicle over discharges the battery. Not all power tool batteries have a low voltage cutoff and with a lithium battery, if you discharge it too much, it won't take a charge again and can ruin it. And worst case scenario, it can catch fire. So this unit has a low voltage cutoff in it. The low voltage is set so that at 15.5 volts, an LED light on the module starts flashing. And then if the voltage drops to 15 volts for 60 seconds or more, it'll shut the vehicle off and preserve your battery. The second problem that we see with lithium batteries is they have a lot of punch to them. They discharge very quickly. Uh, and you know, that's why everybody switched their power tools to lithium is because of that strength that they deliver, even at the same voltage as a traditional SLA battery that comes in a ride-on or the old NICADs that came in a power tool. That punch is ripping up gears and burning up motors and switches in the ride-on cars. So this module, the second feature of it is it has a soft start to it. When the kids first hit the gas pedal, what it's going to do is give it a smoother acceleration. It ramps up the power. It's not a voltage regulator. A lot of people you'll see on YouTube are using a voltage regulator. That just limits the top speed, the top voltage that the vehicle has. It doesn't limit the top punch that it has and you wind up with less speed. With this, you're still gonna get full speed. It's just gonna bring you up there over the course of about two seconds instead of instantly. So if you notice with this module, uh, from here, actually this point all the way back, that's the wiring out of a Power Wheels brand vehicle. They're all the same, the different lengths of wire that you'll have, the shifters may look a different, little different, but they're all the same. So when we're installing this module, this will work for any Power Wheels brand 12 volt mod model. The only exception is the ones that have their smart drive system, which as of the making of this video, uh, is a couple of Mustangs that they stopped making now, uh, the Barbie Dream Camper and the Wild Thing, uh, Thing vehicle. Uh, other than that, everything here is all stock except the motors. You do have to keep in mind when you're gonna use an 18 volt battery, your stock motors are only rated for 12 volt. They may go crazy fast for a little while, but eventually they are going to burn out. So here you see we have a pair of our uh, ML Toys 775 motors. These guys can handle 24 volts all day long, and we even have some customers running them at 36 volts. So the 18 volts is absolutely no power for them. They also deliver four times more torque than the standard 550 motor. To wire this kit in, and this is the crux of why most of you guys are watching the video, you want to start off by just cutting off the connector on your Power Wheels vehicle. Cut it off with about four inches of extra wire. You're going to need that. We used it over here. Uh, you'll need a little extra length of wire, so just cut off a little bit extra. And these connectors come with the car already. They just pop open and pop close. You cut about a quarter inch of uh, insulation off the ends of the wires and pop them in. Now you'll notice here we have black to white, white to black on our connector. That may change for you uh, depending on when you hook up the whole system. If forward becomes reverse, then you switch the wires like we did there. Nothing will fry if you hook these up backwards. Don't do it at the other end, but at this end, once everything is done and you test the vehicle, if your forward and reverse is switched, just change those uh, wires around. That depends on each vehicle uh, and how everything is situated in them, what it'll be. That's why we can't pre-choose for you which way that'll go. Uh, then from there, once you connect it into here, these are simple plugs that you cannot get backwards. And then on the other end, coming out to your battery, 
you're going to have a yellow wire and a red and black wire. The yellow wire gets put into the connector with the red wire, and the black wire goes to the other end and out. This is a 40 amp breaker that we're going to give you with the kit. So you're going to use that extra piece of wire, put your 40 amp breaker in line, and then connect your lithium module to it, your lithium battery adapter. We give you options for several different lithium uh, battery adapters. We know there's a lot of different brands of batteries out there and we can't provide adapters for all of them. We're trying. Uh, but what you do need to make sure of is if you're going to use your own adapter, that these wires that come out of your adapter are at least 14 gauge, if not larger. A lot of the ones that you get on eBay and Amazon, they're coming with 20, 22 volt uh, gauge wire. They're really skinny and those smaller wires will melt down and can cause a fire in the vehicle. So make sure you're using the right ones. Um, same thing with the batteries. There's a lot of cheap batteries that are for sale on the internet. Uh, a cheaper battery, even though we've got the soft start here, if your kid starts driving and then goes up a, a steep hill that requires uh, a lot of power from the battery, a cheap battery can actually melt down from that and again catch fire. So this will not prevent that. You need to make sure you're using high quality batteries to start. When you're done running this kit, make sure you unplug the battery every time. Reason being, the only way that this can monitor the voltage of the battery is to use a little bit of power. So it's always going to have a slow draw on your battery. And when I say slow, you know, if the kid gets out and runs around for an hour or two and then gets back in the car, that's fine. But at the end of each day of play, you need to unplug the battery. It's a safe practice for batteries anyway. You should never leave a lithium battery plugged in when not in use, and we're continuing that practice here. So please unplug the battery so you don't discharge it uh, lower than you should. Another thing to note is that the module is not waterproof, so please don't let it stay out in the rain. Uh, we do sell a very popular upgrade is the brake reduction module for our cars. That goes in line on the uh, foot pedal switch. Uh, and that you can use with this. It has no effect on it. That brake reduction module helps to slow the car to a stop instead of making it a sudden stop that jerks your head or bounces a kid's head into the windshield all the time. Uh, you can still use that. If you're going to add lighting to your car, you can use our voltage reduction module to get the 18 volts down to the 12 volt needed for lighting. And you can plug that module right into the connectors here. Um, if you want, uh, make sure you have the white, in this case, the white to the positive and the uh, black to the negative. And uh, that's all you should need to do to get your lithium module up and running and be able to run a Power Wheels car on a Power Tool battery.